Hi, and welcome to this edition of the Options Learning Center. My name is Rick Orford, and I've been a stock and options trader since 1999. And today, I'm excited to show you how to trade long iron butterflies and use bar chart to get the most out of the strategy. The long iron butterfly is a directional option strategy involving four options, two at the same strike price, on the same underlying asset, and with the same expiration date. This strategy works best if you anticipate the asset will trade with higher volatility by expiration. For example, you might trade this type of strategy right before an earnings or some other big announcement. To set up the trade, you'll sell one put option, buy a call, and a put option at a higher strike, usually at the money, and then you'll sell a call at an even higher strike price. All options share the same underlying asset and expiration date, and the distance between the middle and the outer strikes are the same. The result is a bull call and a bear put spread that results in a net debit. The goal of a long iron butterfly is for the underlying assets price to trade beyond the outer strike prices. If this happens, you'll hit the maximum profit condition. The maximum loss occurs if the asset price settles at exactly the middle strike price at expiration. The long iron butterfly is a complex strategy, and finding the perfect asset to trade on is not going to be easy. Thankfully, we have option screeners to help find great trades, and let me show you how. The first step, of course, is to go to barchart.com if you aren't already there, then click on options at the top, then on Long Iron Butterfly. Once there, you'll land on the results page, where you'll find a decent amount of Long Iron Butterfly trades, all of which balance risk and reward. Here, you'll find essential details like expiration dates, strike prices, premiums, maximum profit and loss, and of course the probability of profit. And you can rearrange the column headers from highest to lowest or in reverse by clicking on them. Now, as I said, these are already a good set of trades that balance risk and reward. But if you'd like to adjust the search parameters, you can click Set Filters at the top, which will take you to the Options Screener page. On the screener page, type your desired filter into the Add Filter field and click Add. If you're unsure what to add, open the drop-down to select an option. Available filters include stock and options data, such as options analysis, underlying prices, trade details, company earnings, and technicals. Everything that you need to refine your trade is right here. For now, I'll remove the ones I just added. But then, I'll adjust some of the selections right here. First, I'll click on ETF in the security type so that ETFs will appear in the results. Then, I'll scroll all the way down to probability of profit, which is arguably the most essential filter, since it predicts the chance of the trade ending at a profit, even by just one cent. So, I'll set that to above 70%. And then, I'll click on See Results. And here we go. But before I explain the trade, let me show you how you can save your screener to reuse it later. Just click Save Screener near the top right, then type in the screener's name. At the bottom, you can also have Barchart email you at a specified time with your trades. It's that easy. Okay, now that that's done, let's move on to the trade example. For this trade setup, you can create a long iron butterfly spread on Tesla with the stock currently trading at $357.09 at the time of the screen. Here's how the trade would work. You start by selling the $290 strike put, collecting a premium of $4.30 per share. Then, you buy the $325 strike put, paying $12.60 per share, and also buy the $325 strike call, paying $47.15 a share. Finally, you sell the $360 strike call, collecting $27.85 per share. 
This trade results in a net debit of $27.60 per share, or $2,760 per contract. Your maximum profit on the trade is $740 per contract. All options expire on January 17th, which from the time of the screen is 45 days until expiration. The trade has a 70.2% chance of probability of profit, with a risk-reward ratio of 0.27 to 1. I also find it's best to know the break-even points on the upside and the downside when monitoring the trade. To calculate these yourself, subtract the net debit from the middle strike to get the lower break-even price, and add the same to get the upper break-even. This gives you break-even points of $297 at 40 cents on the lower end and $352 and 60 cents on the upper end. Now that we have the details, let's discuss how the trade can go. Long iron butterflies profit when the underlying assets price moves beyond the short strike prices. So, if Tesla trades above $360 or below $290 at expiration, the trade will hit its maximum profit condition. To determine the maximum profit, take the difference between the middle strike and the outer strike price, because either one are going to be equal. That makes the width of the spread $35. Then, subtract the net debit that you paid, which is $27.60, and you end up with $7.40 per share, or $740 per contract. On the other hand, if the price of Tesla ends at exactly the long strike, the trade will end at its maximum loss. And this is limited to the net debit that you paid at the start of the trade, which is $2,760 per contract. Of course, the chances of that happening are very low. For a better understanding of long iron butterfly trades, here's a graph that displays profit and loss points from different price points. As you can see, the maximum profit happens at beyond the short strikes at $290 and $360. The trade transitions from profits to losses as the asset price gets closer to the long strikes, with the maximum loss happening at exactly $325. So if you want to use a long iron butterfly, it's best that you're certain that volatility will increase. So that's screening the entire market for assets to use for long iron butterflies. But what about if you have a specific stock in mind? Well, that's also easy, and I can show you how. First, go to barchart.com, and then search for the asset using the search bar. For example, I can type in NVIDIA right here. Now, once you're on the stock's profile page, look, navigate yourself to the left and look for butterfly spreads. Then, click the long iron fly tab and you'll see the trade search results. You can click on the drop down to change expiration dates, change trade legs, rearrange each column, or you can click screen and then set filter tab to access the option screener page for a more granular search. It's that easy. It's always a good idea to close your positions right before expiration when using any strategy that requires writing or selling options. For example, you have two short positions in this trade, and if either is in the money by expiration, the option will be automatically exercised, or in your perspective, you'll be assigned. If any of the short options do get assigned, you'll either have to buy 100 shares of the underlying for every put that you wrote, or you'll have to sell 100 shares for every call that you sold, which also would mean that you'd have to buy the shares if you didn't already own them. You can also sell the long positions to capture any remaining value, which may mitigate some of your losses. But keep an eye out for the trading fees, because if they're higher than the premiums, well, it may not be worth it to you. One of the biggest advantages of long iron butterflies and other option spreads is its well-defined risk-reward profile, meaning you know what you're getting into when you initiate the trade. The strategy is also excellent during high volatility market conditions. 
It also has a lower capital requirement than, say, a long straddle, which has a similar profit and loss profile. However, unlike the long straddle, long iron butterflies have capped profits. Since it banks on any of the long positions expiring in the money, the trade is vulnerable to theta or time decay. The long iron butterfly is best used when you expect a significant price movement without knowing the direction. And this is best used during big events like earnings announcements and the like. To maximize your chances of profiting, you should use every resource at your disposal, like option screeners and trading guys just like these. If you need more information, visit the Options Learning Center, where you can find out more about long iron butterflies, and also find out more about options trading strategies broken down into their working parts.